Hey everyone, it's Farron. Are you ready to learn new things about God and the Bible? Well, you're in luck because we have an awesome lesson today. You're not going to want to miss it. We don't want to grow up. Last week, we talked about Jesus and how he healed a man that couldn't walk. I gave you this challenge to find ways to assist and help others. Were you able to do it? If you didn't get a chance, no worries. You can do it this week. So we are learning all the ways we can live like Jesus. One of the things Jesus promised is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives inside everyone who chooses to be a follower of Jesus. It helps us make good choices and helps us think like Jesus. Today, we're going to read a passage that helps us see the fruits of those who have the Spirit. Before we do that though, we're going to go over our Remember verse. And guys, this is the last week with this Remember verse. I hope by now, you've been able to memorize it and say it in your sleep. I'm going to test your memory skills. On the next slide, you will see only the first and last word of the Remember verse. Fill it in before time is up. I know you can do it. Ready? Good job, guys. Your practice have paid off. Let's say it together. For we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Romans chapter five, verse five. I love this scripture because it reminds us that God has given us the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit fills our hearts with love. That is great because it's so hard to love sometimes at least the way Jesus calls us to love. Today's passage is going to describe some other ways the Holy Spirit helps us. Let's read Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 26. But the fruit the Holy Spirit produces, love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. There is no law against things of that kind. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed their sinful desires to His cross. They don't want these things anymore. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So this scripture talks about the fruit that is produced through the Holy Spirit. It says if you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, and peace. These things are good things to have in your life. I know I want to have joy and peace. The fruit of the Holy Spirit also helps you to be patient, kind, and good. Think about those qualities. Is there anyone in your life who has those qualities? Do you want to have those fruits? Having the Holy Spirit also means being faithful, gentle, and having self-control. There is no law, no restrictions, no limit to how much love, joy, peace, gentleness you can have. It can keep growing and growing in your life. This verse tells us that those who belong to Jesus have nailed their sin and their bad choices to the cross. They don't want to do those things anymore. The Holy Spirit is special, powerful, and helpful. You and me can be loving and joyful for a little, but eventually that runs out. With the Holy Spirit, there is no limit to the amount of fruits you can have. An easy way to remember the fruits of the Spirit is to assign them to a physical fruit. This will help make memorization easier. So let's practice together. Strawberry, love. Joy, orange. Peace, watermelon. Patience, pineapple. Kindness, grapes. Goodness, blueberries. Faithfulness, bananas. Gentleness, 
peach, and lastly, self-control, apple. So the next time you bite into an apple, you can be reminded to have self-control. Or if you're making a smoothie, think about adding those fruits of the spirit inside you as well. One way to practice having joy is to sing songs out to God. The Bible says to make a joyful noise to the Lord. So let's get together and sing together. Hi everyone, we're gonna be singing the Sea of Galilee. To sing this song, you need to know that there's a sea, a boat, men with hands, nets, and fish. All right, in order to do the sea, you go like this. Here's the boat, here are their men, here are their hands, here's the fish, and here's the net. Now you try. One, two, three. There's a sea, there's a sea, there's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea, there's a sea, there's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea, there's a sea, there's a sea of Galilee. There's a boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's a boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's a boat, there's a boat, there's a boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's men, there's men, there's men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's hands on the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's hands on the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's hands, there's hands, there's hands on the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's nets in the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's nets in the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's nets, there's nets, there's nets in the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's fish, there's fish, there's fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's many, many fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's many, many fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the Sea of Galilee. There's many, many fish, there's many, many fish, there's many, many fish in the nets of the hands of the men on the boat on the sea of Galilee. So guys, remember this week? Think of all the different fruits of the Spirit and how to increase in these things. Those that have the Spirit, remember, there's no limit to how much you can grow in these fruits. So grow, learn, and eat some yummy fruit. Go check out our Instagram page for fun activities, memory tips, and ways to connect with us. You can check us out at Broward Church Kids. See you next week. Bye.